हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू एन एडवांस्ड नोट जी एस फाइल डाउनलोड डाउनलोडर विद प्रोग्रेस पा इनसाइड कंसोल सो इफ यू वांट टू डाउनलोड एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ लॉन्ग फाइल सच एज एस एफ फाइल वीडियो फाइल फ्रॉम एक्सटर्नल यू आर एल यू कैन यूज दिस लाइब्रेरी नोट जी एस फाइल डाउनलोडर सो इट कम्स अप विद इट्स ओन प्रोग्रेस पार एज वेल यू कैन ऑल्सो री नेम द फाइल एज वेल विद द कस्टम फाइल नेम एज वेल सो ऑल सच एट्रीब्यूट्स आर देयर इन साइड दिस लाइब्रेरी सो वट यू नीड टू डू इज दैट यू नीड टू मेक अ न्यू नोट जी एस प्रोजेक्ट जस्ट एग्जीक्यूट दिस कमांड एन पी एम इन इट डैश फाइल सो दिस विल क्रिएट द एम टी पैकेज डॉट जेसन फाइल विद द डिफॉल्ट ऑप्शन नाउ यू नीड टू इंस्टॉल दिस लाइब्रेरी ऑल द इंस्ट्रक्शंस आर गिवन इन द वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन आई रिटर्न अ कंप्लीट ब्लॉग पोस्ट ऑन दिस ट्यूटोरियल सो जस्ट गो टू द वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन टू डाउनलोड ऑल द सोर्स कोड एंड वट यू नाउ नीड टू डू इज दैट एन पी एम आई नोट चेयर्स डैश फाइल डाउनलोडर सो दिस इज अ लाइब्रेरी वेरी फेमस लाइब्रेरी सो इंस्टॉल इट इट विल हार्डली टेक फाइव टू टेन सेकेंड्स यू कैन सी इट इज इंस्टॉल्ड सो इट इज सी इट हैज गॉट ऑलमोस्ट अब थ्री थाउजेंड वीकली डाउनलोड्स so first of all we will see a very basic example on how to use this library so just make a index for js file this will be the starting point of the application so here we will first of all import this library so we will say const downloader and we will import it by required statement node js file downloader so this is the library here you can see that node js file downloader so this library makes use of async await you have seen async await in es6 javascript so we will write a very basic async function here like this async so inside parentheses we will write async and uh, this is arrow function this is a anonymous async function here this is a syntax to write here and inside this we will write this we will make use of await statement as well and we will instantiate by a new downloader object new downloader like this so this this takes some options guys first it takes the url which url you need will need to download the large file you can take any url for example image url video url so in the documentation they have given this link here which is a zip file of 200 mb 200 megabytes so if you copy paste this address on the address bar you can see zip file will be downloaded so you will be downloading it programmatically using node js so you will plug this url so we can copy this url so you can use any url of your choice so i am just showing you for sample purpose then we got is the directory guys so where you need to download this so i will make use of a downloads directory so i will mention it so if it is not present it will create this directory uh, automatically so we have make use of downloads directory so you can change this directory name whatever you want and uh, after that guys what you can do is that if you want to try this you can need to s just wrap this inside try catch block so if any sort of error take place we can just console log an error take place like this and inside this try statement here we will write the actual code in order to call this downloader object we will see await downloader and this contains a method which is download so it will actually download this file which is mentioned here so it's a promise based approach here so if i now run this application by saying node index.js so just notice on the left hand side it will create this downloads directory so if i run this you will see it is saying to us cannot be invoked without new i think there is a mistake here let me just see uh let me just see i think the url is not correct i made a mistake in typing so you can see this is the url and uh, let me now run this once again just notice left hand side now it will create this downloads directory you can see that guys now it is downloading it in background but we haven't seen the progress bar running inside the console so it it also contains a progress bar as well so if you want to see the progress of your file here you can let me just first of all stop this application 
so for seeing the progress bar guys there is an option which you can add here after the directory option here you can just put a comma and uh, there is a callback function which is on pro progress so this is the on progress so here we can write a callback function so this takes three properties guys first is percentage second is chunk and uh, i think the third property is uh, remaining size so these are the three variables which are used to show the progress bar so here we can console log the values first of all i will show you the percentage uh, we will console log percentage so it will tell you in the console how much percentage of the file has been downloaded if i once again run this you will see 0%, 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, 5% so until it, it reaches 100% your file will be fully downloaded so it is now showing it in the console here how much it is downloaded 3%, 4% so as you can see this is the progress bar that you are seeing here let me stop this and once again you can print out more information as well if you want console log you can also put chunk as well and then you can also console log the remaining size how much is remaining so once again if i run this you will see a lot more information will be printed out here this is just binary data which is printed out this is some somewhat complex this is called progress bar you can see that two percent six percent this is a percentage this is chunk and this is remaining so this is a progress bar guys which is printed out on the console and also it contains a third property for custom file name if you want to name your file with a custom file name there is an attribute available inside this uh, this is file name so this is the attribute so if you want to give it a custom file name i will give like custom file dot zip so now it will be saved with this name custom file dot zip if i just delete this once again run this you will see now inside downloads this will be custom file dot zip so in this way you can give custom file as custom name to your downloaded file as well inside this node.js file downloader library so this is very easy guys this is the simplest of example libraries that i wanted to show you how to download files from url with progress bar and node.js in console and thanks very much for watching this video and for the full source code download the go to the video description and go to my blog post and thanks very much for watching this video